Hello everybody and welcome to episode 5, I cannot believe it's episode 5 already, of Bottoms Up. Uh, this week we're going to show you around Cincinnati, Ohio. Cincinnati has been awesome, the theater is beautiful, uh, the audiences have been having a blast, and I'm going to show you some of our favorite spots, some of our favorite chili, and uh, we're going to take some Twitter questions with the lovely Miss Autumn Hurlbert. Come on, let's start episode 5. On the road again, I can't wait to get on the road again. We are going from St. Louis to Cincinnati, and we're driving. How's the road trip treating you? You good? We have the best cat in the whole world. Nico, you're a Broadway.com star. How's that feel? Yeah? Me too. Want to stop for some Indian crafts? Who doesn't? The nice thing about driving instead of taking the, uh, the company flight is you can stop for really important things like the world's largest wind chime and the world's largest rocking chair. You gotta have your priorities. Okay, we are in Cincinnati. And there's only one thing to do immediately upon arrival in Cincinnati. And that is go to Skyline Chili. What is Skyline Chili, you ask? Let's find out. Who is getting Skyline Chili with me tonight? Caroline Margaret Lakis, Maggie Lakis, the lovely Leah Hoffman, and one of my best friends in the whole world, Jonathan Silver. Hi, John Silver. Hey, Rob. Um, John Silver and I have known each other for 16 years. We went to the same high school, and I directed him in the musicals when I went back and directed there, and now we're best pals. He went to Cincinnati, which is uh, was a town he went to school. Um, CCM, fancy pants. Um, Watch behind you. And, uh, and now they're bringing Hi. oyster crackers. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Good. Why do we need oyster crackers? You'll find out. Um, but he surprised me. John just showed up in the hotel room and surprised me. And now he's being very sweet to the waitress. You're, you're, you're a good man. You're a good man. Okay, so because my buddy John uh, went to school here, he gets to explain to us what Skyline Chili is. We all ordered <laughs> the three-way. We were all feeling the three-way. John, what does that mean? What is in a three-way on Skyline Chili? Heaven, Rob. Yeah? <laughs> is in a three-way. What does that mean? Uh, that means the best of all worlds. Spaghetti. Uh-huh. Topped with secret chili. Chili. Uh -huh. Chili, yep. And it's, it's not like bean chili, it's like beef chili. Okay, good. And then on top of that, it's just a mountain of shredded cheese. What kind of cheese? Uh, orange. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I think it's cheddar. Cheddar. Um, all the orange cheese. It's gonna be amazing. And then what? It, what do you mean? In that? Well, well, and then crackers, if you want. And then you cover it in crackers. Got that? Spaghetti, meat-based chili, shredded cheddar cheese, and crackers. I know, it doesn't sound like it makes sense. It makes sense. This is Maria. Hi. Maria's going to prepare me to eat my skin. <laughs> Bib them. Yep. Take a look at this. What is happening? <laughs> it's on. It doesn't make any sense. It's so good. Skyline Chili, y'all. Cincinnati Classic. We are at preset for our show in Cincinnati. The curtain is still out, so I thought I would give you a glimpse at the beautiful Aronoff Center in Cincinnati. It's awesome to see the change in architecture, like we just came from the very old Fox in St. Louis to the much more modern-looking and intimate Aronoff Center in, uh, in Cincinnati. It's beautiful. Take a look. Woohoo! Hey, everybody. So, occasionally, uh, I will get asked about microphones at the stage door. People will say, were you wearing microphones? I can't, I didn't see you guys wearing microphones. Um, we do, and most Broadway shows, musicals anyway, um, do wear microphones. I will dispel any rumors right now that uh, contemporary performers don't have the lung power to hit the balcony. I guarantee you, most, every one of the performers in this building right now could potentially fill that room with sound. Um, but what microphones do is allow the sound designer and the sound op in the back of the house to have much more control over the dynamic of the sound. Um, so they can control a balance between us and the orchestra. They can pull things way back, get more intimate. We can also be subtler with jokes and punchlines and volume than if we just had to rely on hitting the back of the wall uh, with our voice. So it allows for a more dynamic performance. So we do wear microphones. How and where do we wear microphones? Um, I'll show you. So when we get our microphones, um, we get them from the sound 
guy, who in our case is a guy named Emery, um, and he brings us these little packs. They're about the size of, oh, I don't know, uh, half a deck of cards, a deck of playing cards. Um, and the wire comes through. I wear two, uh, just in case I get sweaty and sweat gets in one or anything goes wrong with one, they can jump to the other. Um, so I wear two, and then the cables come together, and there's one, two, three hair clips, and then that's it. It's for teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny microphones. Um, let me show you exactly how we put it on. They go into these little pouches here, um, and then once they're in the pouches, um, you put this elastic band around your waist, um, and then the wire goes up your neck and through your hair and usually sits right there, sort of at your widow's peak. Um, let me show you. Booyah. Then we'll... Uh, I'll put this elastic around my waist. Well, there we go, right in, there we go, right in the small of my back uh, is the mic belt. Now, uh, we just have to feed this through my hair. Clip it right in the front of my hair. Just set my hairline so that people can't see it. Then you take the second clip, you go a little bit further back, and you clip that guy in, and then you go all the way in the back. And you clip that guy nice and low. And then you spoof some hair over it so you hide your cable. Then you come back and you make sure that this mic right here is sitting right in a good place for sound. That'll do. Boom. Can't even see it. It's gone. Magic trick. So I found this lovely place called the House of Adam Menswear in Cincinnati. It's not like you can buy an Adam Pascal there or anything. I, oh, wait a second. There's Adam Pascal. Um, yeah, I'll take uh, one Adam Pascal, please. Uh, headed to his matinee. This is the stalkeriest video that I've ever taken. House of Adam. It's Broadway's Autumn Hurlburn! Oh my god! Ah! And she's here to take your Twitter questions. Thank you for sending in Twitter questions. It kind Ready? of looks like I have a mullet right now. Rapid fire Twitter question time with Autumn Hurlbird. Ba -da 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 -da. So, at Sidnick Walker. Hi, Sid, what's going on? Hi, Sid. Um, they said, if you could be another character in something rotten, who would you play? Ooh, that's a Isn't good that fun? question. Yeah. Um, oh, I think <clears throat> if I were another character, I think <clears throat> I think I would want to play Nostradamus. Yeah? Yeah. Why? I'm so silly. <laughs> <laughs> So silly, and you get to be so random. Okay, uh, next up, at Natty Flamingo. Hi, Natty Flamingo. Okay. Natalie Schmidt. Nice Do to meet you. Do you stand on one leg? She does. Oh, this is a big one. Okay. Dream roll and why? Oh, man. A oh, dream man. Roll. Dream roll. Um, oh, jeez. Yeah, take your time. <gasps> dream roll. Anything written by Pasek and Paul. Um, I know, right? Hey, I congratulations, by the way. Congratulations, you're awesome. Paul. Oh, yeah. Hey! How about it? Broadway representing oh, on the big so screen. Amazing. We love you guys. Congratulations. Oh. They are the PS. They are the sweetest guys you nicest, will ever know. Nicest, funniest. Oh, they deserve oh, it. They are totally joining the Lin Manuel Bobby Lopez yes. society of nice guys wow. who write incredible music. I know my current dream role. What is your current dream role, Autumn? I want to play the king in Hamilton. Yes! That is the <laughs> right answer. Oh my god, you'd be so yeah. good. I you literally say went into a different key. I was like, oh, he's gonna harmonize with me! <laughs> oh, that's so fun! And then I got nervous. <laughs> Listen, that's how it goes. Oh, this one's fun. At Hey Bales, Bailey. Hey Bales! Um, question. If you couldn't work in theater, what would you do? Oh, oh. Isn't that a good wow. one? Wow. That's a really good yeah. one. Yeah. Oh my gosh, there's so many things that, well, I mean, I would probably work for a non-profit. I would probably work for, like, Planned Parenthood or yeah. um, the, like, I'd do something rescuing animals. Um, although my, that might be too hard on my heart, so then I, then I could also probably just be an esthetician because I love to pop zits. <laughs> <laughs> That took a turn. That's awesome. It's all charitable. I mean, it's really you're you're helping people. 
Autumn Hurlburt, to summarize, Hi. is badass. And um, I'm going to come back when you put your blonde wig on because she okay. rocks that hair. Oh, my God. You look oh, so it's cute, the best Portia. Hair. Oh, it's the best hair. It's, it's the best. It's like mermaid hair. And like Goldilocks action. Oh, Goldilocks. Oh, it's the best. It's very nice. We'll show you the full transformation in a bit. Thanks, Autumn. All right. See you later. Look at this magical this transformation. My Ready? my favorite part of the show. Do it up. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I forgot to put my mic on. Now you're gonna Yay! Take Yay. two. This is Andrew. He's incredible, and he does oh, wigs here. Okay. He styled Porsche's amazing wig. Look at this magic. Ready? Oh. Redhead. Oh. Oh. Come on now. Centering the mic. Pull it back a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Adjustments. <laughs> it's so gorgeous. Look at that. I feel like an elven princess. Oh. <laughs> so that's it for episode five of Bottoms Up. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you'd like to see next. Is there a certain cast member you'd like me to interview? Certain things backstage you'd like to see? Hit me up at Rob McClure at Broadwaycom, hashtag Bottoms Up, and we'll do our best to answer any questions you have or show you anything you want to see. Um, what's up next for the Bottom family? We're leaving Cincinnati and heading to Tampa, Florida, so it only makes sense that we visit Disney World. That's right. The Bottom family is going to Disney World, and we're going to bring you along with us. So we'll see you there. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time on Bottoms Up. Wow, 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 wow.